What's good, YouTube family? It's your girl D back with another video. Check it out, it's a Beauty with D video. Guess what? I'm in my pajamas because I'm about to take my black ass to bed. But before I do, I wanted to share with you what I'll be using on my face tonight. We are using the Sparkling Pear Pore Cleansing Mask. Another one from the Freeman Feeling Beautiful series. Pick this up at Ulta, less than $5. You know I have most of the collection as it is anyways. Um, this one is made from whipped clay, which is kind of unique. And it also is specific for oily and combo skin. And you know we grease up like goddamn church is chicken in this bitch. So we'll see how it is that it works out. And if you want to go ahead and uh, see how this little delightful device worked for me, just stay tuned after the jump. I normally wouldn't come on camera already with the face mask on. But I want this to be a quick video. Anyway, so uh, obviously it's your girl D. This is for oily slash combo skin. And it's actually whipped clay, which will help to supposedly white uh, clip, whip, clip. I can read. <laughs> which will actually wipe out your pores. So obviously I've already applied this. All right, so the back says, Skin clearing clays are whipped to an ultralight consistency, enhancing their ability to coax impurities out of skin without the dramatic tightening effects of traditional clay masks. They lie. I mean, it's not completely tightening, but as it's drying, you can feel the shit. Let's see. Willow bark extract, a natural source of salicylic acid, exfoliates and clears pores to reveal smoother, fresher skin. Pear extract has an astringent benefits to help minimize pore visibility for a perfected surface, and refreshing tea tree removes impurities without over drying the skin. Perfect for oily and combination skin. Now, off top, I don't know why I can't read anyways. Off top, every face mask is gonna dry a little bit. Now I have to say, before this is still somewhat moist, so I'm still able to move my lips. But, um, minimize pore visibility, we'll definitely see for that. Uh, exfoliates, clears pores, whatever. But without the dramatic tightening effects. I mean, yeah, it's not as tight as a face peel type of mask or a peel off mask would be. And, but you can definitely tell that it is drying. So, yeah. Also, I got my thought bonnet on. I'm sorry. I'm not a thought right now, this moment. But I have tendencies. It was, yeah. Um, so, haven't done a beauty with D in a while, so I wanted to um, whip this up real quick. It's really interesting, the whipped clay. You actually, That could be misconstrued as inappropriate. You actually have to shake it up a little bit in order to get it removed. I applied it with a foundation brush, my um, Real Techniques metal one. The 101, actually, I just, it's pretty, and whenever I want to feel fancy with a face mask, I, you know, use that to apply. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. It's been about five minutes basically since I've had it on because I was messing around for a couple minutes before I went to go get the camera so it's 11.08 p.m. right now and I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry completely I don't think it's gonna need too much longer except for just this section right here and then I will check back in with you guys on camera I do have a couple dry patches but that's just because I literally got everything off to the touch skin is soft not quite baby soft but definitely better than what it was feel what it was feeling before I've been due for a mask for a while I went ahead and used uh, one of these little face loofah sponge things to get all of the clay removed um, I did have double duty with my uh, 
fat bonnet on as well as the skull cap because we are rocking straight hair right now. Straight hair does not last very long. So, got to make sure that we preserve it as much as we possibly can. Raspberry Beret. Okay. Another hat mine. Raspberry Beret. Anyways, um, yeah, I would say that this isn't necessarily one of my favorites. Let me angle this properly. I wouldn't say necessarily that this is one of my favorites to say but I will um, I will recommend it you know it's great for oily combo skin it is kind of drying but you know I still have to tone and moisturize as well too so we'll see this is why I just I was just too lazy to get the tripod I'm sorry anyways um yeah let's just go back there 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 we go I like that Anyways, so, uh, yeah, <sighs> a bit too sleepy, I'm sorry, um, yeah, so, I do have to say that for someone with oily skin, if you're needing something to dry it out, even though it said in the ingredients, oh, it's not super drying with the tightening effects of traditional clay masks, whatever, dude. Anyway, so I'm sure that my skin will feel a little bit better with some toner and some moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and throw my uh, Bobbi Brown um, on here. But I like it. And you know I love a myriad of skin products as it is anyway. So, you know, I'm not going to knock it. It's, you know, it's, well, with it being made specifically for the oily combo skins. Because, you know, a bitch is church is chicken greasy. Anyways, so with that all being said, thank you ever so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you also for tolerating me in my pajamas as I am on my way to bed. If you have any questions or suggestions, hit your girl up in the comments section. Please check the giveaway video. It is should be linking somewhere below saying watch next, maybe. I don't know. I try to figure that out if I could. But um, if not, check the other playlist on my or the other uh videos on my channel if you are looking to maybe receive a little makeup surprise in the mail pay it forward body blase and i'm tired <laughs> it's after midnight and i'm taking my ass to bed so you guys have a wonderful day